Let's make a cyberpunk base with the Europa. Sounds like this. This sound is created by layering two sounds together, but don't worry, the first one is super easy. In this case, I'm just using two Europas, so take the first one and simply just bring it to a sawtooth. You see how easy that was? We're already done with this. Sounds like this. Before we start sculpting the sound, let's do a little house cleaning. First, bring the key mode to re-triggered. Next, bring the voices down to 1. Bring your amp down to 10 milliseconds. Be sure to hold down the shift button or it'll go super fast. Bring your amp sustain down to 61.3%. Leave the decay at 5 seconds. Attack at 1.6 milliseconds. Let's turn the distortion on, bring it to scream, and drive up all the parameters to 100%. Make sure the first oscillator is selected. Drop it down 2 octaves, and bring it to a sawtooth. Turn on the spectral filter, and let's select bandpass 12. Bring the frequency to 15.6%. Turn on the unison, and bring the spread to 51.6. Select the second oscillator, turn it on, and drop it down an octave. Turn on the modifier 1 and go and select shaping sign shape. Take the amount to 39.1. Turn on the spectral filter and turn it again to bandpass 12. Put the frequency to 28.1. Turn on the harmonics and put it to harmonic lag AR. Position to 17.2, amount to 48.4. Let's turn on the third oscillator, turn it on, and then just drop it down two octaves and we're done with this one. The first level is going to be at 10.3 decibels. The second is at 2.1. Third is negative 8.7. Only turn on the first filter. Bring the filter to SVV bandpass 12. Bring the drive all the way up. Resonance is going to be set at 20.3. Frequency is at 250 hertz. Right now with both sense blended, it should sound like this. Doesn't sound too cyberpunky right now, so let's right click and go to effects and add a scream for distortion. Bring the damage type to a warp distortion. Drop the control to about 50. Drop all these cuts to about zero. Turn the body off. Bring the master to about 69. Now let's have a listen. Much better, but still needs some EQing. Let's right click, go to effects, and go to M class equalizer. Low shell frequency at 48.2, the gain at negative 13.7, and the Q at 0.62. Parameter 1 is going to be 600 hertz, negative 8 decibels, and a Q of 2. Parameter 2's frequency is going to be at 2,368. The gain is 4.6, and just leave the Q alone at 5.7. Now let's right click, Effects, Reason Studios, and go to the M class stereo imager. Bring both the low band and the high band to negative 42. Now with drums added, the two cents layered, an 808 hit at the beginning of each bar, and a little 303 section at the very end, it sounds like this. <laughs> 